Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I have for you this really cool eye mix little device. So I have opened it and used it already just so that I can give you my honest opinion and know how it kind of works and all that. And I did package it up the best that I could to show you guys sort of how it comes uh, when you open it. So, I couldn't remember where these went, but uh, this top row I used already, and they come like this, and they recommend that you just leave them on there until you need them. So you only get 10 in a package. Um, Throughout the review, I will show you kind of how everything works, how to clean them, but I recommend if you can get more of these mixers to do so, so that you can just leave them in their pots until they're empty. Um, I would kind of do it with whatever you use that's more of your popular colors, or as you get collections, just put them in there and work as you go and just leave them. So, next, uh, we kind of pull it out like this. And our little eye mix is in this little box. And you just pull this open and you kind of unwrap it. And then our little pen here to pull out our mixing pods just sits in this back corner. So we're gonna take that out. And then we have our power cord. It does come with a little tie, but I think I threw it out, so I don't have that there to show you. You will need to grab an extra USB charging cord if you have one laying around from an old phone or something. And then we just have our little instruction manual and our warning booklets about strong magnets. So if you have any clients that are on heart pacers, I definitely would recommend not using this around them. Uh, don't leave your phones beside it, anything like that and more information is in this little pamphlet. And then our instructions are pretty straightforward. We want to get it all set up. So let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, I have it plugged into the power bar and I'm just gonna plug our end in and it starts automatically. <laughs> So I'm just gonna shut it off for a second. Oops. Okay, let's grab a gel. So I grabbed Mermaid in the shade to show you best how this would mix. So this is one of these metallic ones so that when you open it, they've separated really bad and just look like one solid color. So we're going to put it on our top and I'm going to grab one of these that I've already used and we just set it on top and start her up and it'll mix. So it's going to go through a five minute cycle and then it'll just shut right off. I like to mix my older gels at least for 15 minutes if I can. If I don't have to use a whole bunch of gels, I'll just let it keep going until I need it. And I found the consistency is just so nice. So I'm sure I'm gonna get this question. What happens if you put two into the mix? So this is what happens. I did actually try putting two of these into a smaller pot once and because the pot was so small it didn't work out very well but I haven't tried it in a bigger one and it seems to be working really good. I wish I 
I could actually get this to show up a little bit better. This actually looks really cool when it's mixing. So the color is starting to come to life. More of our metallics are starting to come through the center and slowly dispersing throughout the sides. I did find that when I put two in, our bottom piece does slow down a little bit. So I did pull the two out just so that I can put one back in. Now I'm not going to touch this gel with my fingers. I'll just clean these off and I'll toss one of these back in here to finish mixing it. As you can tell, it's almost done. Okay, so here it is. It's all done and it's mixed really nice those air bubbles are just from me taking the little piece out so I'm just gonna show you the difference and how nice the gel sort of got revived in its consistency here and it just goes on so nice and smooth it doesn't really have a pull Sometimes if you're painting on a color, it almost feels like it's pulling. That's not how this feels at all. And it just goes on so nice, like buttercream consistency, just so smooth and airy. So I grabbed Centaur of Attention. It's from the same collection as Mermaid in the Shade and has the same type of consistency. But I'm not going to mix it with my eye mix. I'm just going to mix it with my Ugly Duckling paddle. Just to show you guys the difference of hand mixing and the eye mix makes to the gels. And trust me, after painting on Mermaid in the shade, I totally felt a huge difference. And you can actually kind of see it too when I go to brush it on. So I'm going to finish stirring this. So here you can kind of see in the strokes that even it's not applying as smooth it's kind of patchy like near the end of the strokes and it's just you can't feel I wish you guys could feel through the video but it's pulling and it doesn't feel as soft and buttery and I'm not just saying that that's actually how this feels and same thing before I had used a really old gel in the clear pots from Light Elegance and I used it in the eye mix and it made a world's difference. Even with Fusion and their thicker gels, it made a big difference there too. I'm just gonna try and find it here. You can tell because the gel will start to rise and there it is in this corner and viola, it just comes out super quick. I'm gonna just give it a good scrape against the sides and then we will clean it. Now I'm gonna take this soft landings wipe and some acetone and just soak it in the liquid and I'm gonna wipe it off. Roll it around a little bit. Now I'm going to take the pen from the back side here and push the little piece through so that it pushes the gel out just like that. And I'm just going to grab it again and fold it in half and do the same thing. Now I'm just going in with a pure cotton wipe, soaking it in acetone, opening it in half and giving it one last final clean wipe. And this is why I recommend getting more of these because I don't enjoy cleaning them. <laughs> I'm not going to lie there, but there it is. You can kind of see here that in the creases and nooks and crannies, you can't totally get the gel out. I haven't found it to affect any of the gels that I've used, but that's what happens, I guess. And there you have it. That's my review on the I'm Picks. Let me know down below in the comments section if you're going to pick this cool little gadget up or not. I think it's totally worth it, but let me know. So we'll see you in next week's video. Bye!